You don't and... want a like two minute video? <laughs> I would suggest no. instead of swimming all the way there this time, warp to whatever the second last city was and then just go left. I wouldn't sure use a free lap though. Yeah. Alright. Let's let's see what happens. How close are we? Pretty close. I mean, just walk over the... As long as we don't get an encounter, it's going to be the... Oh, there's a mountain in the way! Alright. Hello, my, I'm the world champion. My name is Alan Pross, and I have terrible, terrible memory. I've heard a lot about you. Um, yeah. <laughs> ah, oh, that's right, you have the secret parts. Oh, okay. Yeah, what happened was, just after... Um, just after he heard about us coming to compete with him, he uh, suffered a terrible head trauma. So and so, no matter how many times we race him, he... Uh, but people don't want him to feel bad, so they just act, play along with it, right? I just figure every time he beats us, he just, like, hits the champagne big time. <laughs> what do you mean it's September? Last thing I remember, it was April. Well, I mean, you did beat Bobo, like, 14 times. What? I didn't agree to a rematch? Why did he keep coming back? <laughs> no wonder why you beat me eventually. He had all that sweet practice. And he's not getting any better, he keeps forgetting it the next day. He apparently keeps forgetting what direction the track goes. I saw him off of the road there. Maybe... The issue you're having isn't with the D-pad. Maybe it's that, uh... This track is extra slippery. Uh, or like, Extra fun. you're going so fast with the turbos, you're getting speed wobbles. That's it. Now, luckily he got bumped by the same great car as you, so he didn't get as much ketchup on that one. Well, that's good. I mean, as much as ketchup is delicious, I don't want him getting it. <laughs> oh, don't worry, this is just mushroom ketchup. It's not nearly as tasty. Quit making up condiments. It's a thing. You're trying to break my concentration by making up new types of <laughs> things to put on fries. Hey, ketchups aren't just for fries. There's ketchups like, are uh, not. Weird fish-based ketchups and stuff too. You just probably want to uh, ignore specialty ketchups. Most of them are probably gross. I'm hoping that this guy starts ignoring some ketchups. That was him. I know, I know. I know. There you go. Oh, fuck it. Oh, that's not the last lap. No, I mean, it's not. I lost enough you time. You shouldn't in the have dirt fucked there. it yet. Well, I. I wasn't actually <laughs> fucking it, but. You had a perfect out! <laughs> no, the thing is, like. Great cars in the final lap, so they're just like. The, Ridiculous. The, uh, when you get off into the dirt, it seems to, like, it doesn't matter. It takes you, it takes you the amount of time it would take you to accelerate from, like, you know, still being in the mud, even after you get back on the regular track. Like, yeah. there's no, like, oh, if I get back on the track quick enough, I'll be able to recover faster. Doesn't mm. seem to really happen. It cost me $100. So, so the speedrunner was not wrong. I mean, you can you can mess up a little bit, but definitely not. Uh... Yeah, like I'm definitely not going completely flawlessly even before. I suppose if you're speedrunning, you need to be flawless anyway, though, so, because if you slow down any amount, someone could come along and take your world record. That's true. You need to actually just complete the circuit in the least amount of time. Bubba, we're in a bit of a rush here. Do you mind leaving us alone? Thank you. I appreciate your willingness to wait. I will come back and race you again, Bubba. Or my character will, after I'm not playing the game anymore. <laughs> That's the headcanon we have now. Yeah. Everyone's glad to see us. That's true. Do our best, but be careful. Okay, that guy actually... What if... Oh. Yeah. What if um, it turns out that 
it's actually just been like a year. Every, this is the world championship race, right? Like it's been a year every time that we fail. A year goes by. Our dad only gives us three hundred dollars allowance for that one year because because that's all we're doing the championship. If you want to earn more money during that year, you gotta go out and race some. You gotta go bad change some tires or something. Now it does seem that like we are passing colored cars for a while, and then once we get a couple laps in, they're all just. So I wonder if it's supposed to seem like we're passing those other racers that we've raced before, but there's far too many of them. Either that, or the gray cars really are zombie cars that are out there to try to destroy you. It really does feel like they just try to get in your way sometimes. They're all drivers that Alan Prost paid off. Oh, that's his real, his true secret part. <laughs> his secret part guy. is the Benjamins. Well, his dad would give him like $3,000 whenever he was. <laughs> I don't see how they hit you so far off the road. Oh, maybe because we're a lightweight car. I don't know. We need that acceleration, though. It's not like we can turn off having become a lightweight car. Oh, for... Yeah, it's like, I'd like to add heft, please. <laughs> I, my car needs more girth. <laughs> where they come at you on Ma on Mars. The great car knocks you off to the side and you look over. This is how we do it. And it's just Howie Mandel. Damn it. <laughs> Refusing to shake your hand. Well, screw you, Howie. I'm not giving you a fist bump. That's an alternative. <laughs> you can't put turkey. Just put your hand up against it. Oh, it's so close. Yet so far away. <sighs> it keeps telling me it's too easy. Alright. I will keep trying because at this point it's just going to be an extra long video until we get an extra long win. video, or if it gets long enough, you can split it in post. Hmm. I would have to come up with a uh, special, uh, you know, card to uh, put in there. I mean, I don't have to do that. It's just the kind of thing that people do, I guess. Alright, let's warble. <laughs> it would be the dad saying, Don't worry, I, Bobo. I forgot <laughs> to split the video, brother. <laughs> Here's $300. Here's $300. <laughs> whatever happened. Whatever whatever the music text was. It definitely ends with, Here's $300. Here's $300. Serious now. It's time to take off the time to take off the cap zip up hoodie. <laughs> Got the secret parts. It's true. The real secret part is in here. Oh, it's a philosopher's stone. <laughs> yeah, but it's the new one, the cursed one. Or no, oh, no, the one that works in the exact opposite way. Instead of restoring life, it grants a cursed life. That's what an opposite is, right? <laughs> yes, instead of, instead of making it more dead than dead, it brings it back to life, but it's mad now. I'm mad that I didn't die. Do you have any idea how nice heaven was? It was amazing. There's no fast that you can go go than 200. Bye. I bet he can no. still go like 200 miles an hour even in the dirt. 
Like, well, no, when he hits the side, he just gets a much better acceleration rate than us. So he bumps the side and he slows right down and then he just speeds right back up. But like, he's only hitting 190 now that he doesn't have any turbo left. But that 10 kilometers, or 10 miles per hour, that should be a lot! Miles are massive! Yeah, miles per hour, well I mean, even 10 kilometers per hour difference between like two race cars should be enough that the race car that is 10 miles, 10 kilometers an hour slower should not be able to win. <laughs> But you really don't gain too much ground on that straightaway just by going 20 miles an hour faster. This is why I think these numbers are just lies. This is how we do it. <laughs> They've been pranking us this whole time. Come on, I'm going faster. You're than definitely him. closer to him than you were the last time you were on that straightaway. You did gain ground on him that lap. So it is possible to have a comeback, but I don't know. I wouldn't call it it's... a comeback. I mean, at this rate, we were never there before. <laughs> oh, that one great car bounced you back on. Yeah, it was like a double bounce around. You were just barely off him there, but, I mean, he still called it too easy. I know. I feel like that's just the kind of guy he is, even though I clearly know that he's working at this. He's just going to call it easy. When, you're, when you beat him, he's going to be like, Bobo, I finally let you win. It was too easy. Yes. <laughs> All right. Oh, this is, this is really unfortunate. I mean, it's actually, it's it's a pleasant, uh, it, at least at this point, you know, if, uh, you know, talk to me again in another 30 minutes of doing this, but uh, at this point, it's uh, still a, a pleasant test of skill that I just am having to do a little bit more uh, grinding at to, to, to reach the, the proper level for, mm -hmm. but... Uh, I could see where that will end. <laughs> Honestly, like, uh, I don't, I don't want to, I don't want to be considered whiny about this. But like, if I had a different D-pad, I feel like this would be slightly more straightforward. Uh, well, I mean, I can understand that completely. I think I actually need to get a new NES pad soon, because like. Is the one that I you're like using for push... stuff um, an original uh, pad, or is it a... It uh... is, and it's an original pad from, as far as I know, my original Nintendo, so it's pretty old and worn in. Sure. But I feel like I have to push pretty hard to get the, the buttons to left and right. Like, they, they react with an okay speed, but when I have to hold right for a while, it's like I have to push relatively hard to keep it, keep it going. Maybe it just needs a good cleaning inside or something. Well, that was not the greatest vote of confidence. It sounded like the, uh... Yeah, there he is. Damn him! Well, so on the, when you get on the big straightaway, stick to the right-hand side of the track a little more if you can, because there is a jump there. I don't know if jumps do anything for us if we're already at 200 miles an hour. Well, they make you avoid cars. What if your speedometer only caps out at 200, km, 200 miles an hour, but it's, uh, it's really faster. It's just breaking the needle. Uh, yeah, what if? <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I'm saying we don't know for uh, sure. You're, you're, you're right. I, uh, I'm not trying to completely disregard everything that you're saying. I'm just like, uh, no, that's true. That's... This is information, let me process it.
You know what this is like? It's not like uh, fighting Mike Tyson. It's like fighting, um, let's say like uh, Super Macho Man or like Bald Bull or something like that. Where like it's not one mistake will get you, but a couple of them, and then suddenly you're you're fighting on the on your heels. Well, it's like fighting um, Super Macho Man or Ball Bull or somebody like that, and then Glass Joe is also there. <laughs> He's just like getting in the way of your punches. He's just like bobbing around, and like every so often he will throw a punch that you have to make sure to dodge. be one thing if it was just Don Flamenco and uh, you just never punched him and he just stood there the whole time and started going rang, 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 <laughs> the way that he does. Or he's like, I dare you to punch me. I'm like, no. I, I, I feel no need to do that. <laughs> That's what's actually happening. We're not actually losing to Alan Cross. We're we're losing to all these other guys. We're eating um, Fat Pat's dust time and time mm -hmm. again. It's a dust sandwich. I hope you enjoyed this dust bowl. It's just it's weird because, and I think the reason why car colors cars turn gray is because. If you were playing this in the just regular race mode instead of story mode, I believe there's like something like 20 or 30 cars. Yeah, there's uh, not 20 or 30 different position. like color schemes that they yeah, are yeah. trying to keep um, track of. But I think in that mode, like having watched it playing on demo mode or whatever, it seems like as you go up the rank, it, it counts down until you're in first place. And then you probably keep passing cars, but they're probably all gray cars because they're just like, yeah, these are just the in your way so that racing isn't drones. boring. But you know what? I wouldn't mind uh, if the race was a little duller. Once you passed everybody, like you earned Damn it then. It. Like I want to be able to. Like the moment he gets past, there's there's no catching up, but there's also no quitting out. Well, if you wanted to, we could always put a safe state down right at the beginning of the race before it starts. I think you've proven to the folks at home that you can walk back here if you need to. <laughs> but I can walk back here. Oh, uh, <laughs> what do you mean save state, by the way? We're playing this in original hardware. Wink. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the signal that I'm able to get out of my TurboGrafx-16 is incredible. I will grant you that. It's, it's so clean. Like, this isn't even RGB. I think you just got the HDMI right out of it. 4K. It's too bad this isn't one of those games that has the uh, wine back really good feature. banding for when you're uh, when you're behind because you just start the race behind on purpose and then you just oh, I see. banding yeah. at the right time. I think it was one of those uh, games, there's an increasing number of racing games out there now where like there's a rewind button. And you're like mm -hmm. the freaking Prince of Persia and you're just like, oh, I went off the road there, well this time I'll break earlier. Um, the One of the earlier games to do that, we used to play it at work on the uh, lunch breaks. Yo. And we would use it to specifically to, to, to be like, okay, here's what we're going to do. We want to get around this corner as fast as possible. We're going to hit this tree a little bit. Yeah. And see how we can survive getting around this corner in a way that is faster than actually taking the corner. Yeah, like we're going <laughs> to ping pong off of this tree, but it needs to bounce us in the right direction. And uh, we got pretty far in the game that way, but then eventually you get to stages where it's just like, you're going to destroy your car if you try, try this. You're going too fast. And we didn't have the skills required, too. Oh, you didn't let the game properly. teach you. No. Slim Tim. Slim Tim. Oh, man. Those eyebrows. I don't have time for your shenanigans. Oh, 
Hello, I'm the world champion. <laughs> I'm Tao P, the world champion. <laughs> <laughs> That's basically the one place that you can get a speed advantage on Alan Pross. The thread they needle at the beginning? Yeah. You can get the whole shot. After that, it's pretty much all... Can you not lose any time? Because if you lose time, he's gonna come around and get you. Remember, stick to the right here. I do think that these ramps still give you a bit of a bonus. Tap. Oh. Speaking of threading the needle. <laughs> uh, so is he around me now? Uh, he's passing you right now. Yeah. But he's not too far ahead. Well, yeah, that's, but there's uh, no that's him getting up ahead around me. If there were any getting around him, that thing I said earlier about the only way that you can make ground up on him being the old shot would be uh, in error. Well, we've seen you close the gap some before, so being behind him this far into the race, or this not far into the race, I should say, you do have an actual chance of uh, getting to come back on this one. Oh, and that helps you dodge that car. Did, uh, and then, yeah, if you hit another car and you go down like 40, 50 miles an hour. Oh, I hit this yeah. one. See, this is part of the problem with trying to stay on one side of the track. That's where they put all the gray cars. Yeah, I would say go down the middle in the future. And then after you pass that sign, if you can, go to the right. If you can't, don't worry about it. But it's the easiest of the ramps to be able to hit, I think. Oh, these ramps in the corners might be good to hit, too, if we... It's just, there's... It's even harder to, to plan those ones. At this point, just waiting for Alan Pross to finish. There we go. <laughs> he didn't even let us finish the race ourselves. Well, that would have been too uh, too easy. Letting letting us finish. I mean, that would have been easy too. But he decided that this was even easier to the point where it's too easy. We can use these coupons. I don't want to test drive a lot. I just want to go in there and mix it up. I'm going to mix it up. I'm going to come to it uh, from this side. Oh, that might change the whole RNG for it. That's probably how it works. <laughs> I'm glad you're here. This race is mine. I wanted... I wanted you to be here to see my race. Pretty well this time, so they have a big angry mob of cars there. Yeah, that, after that corner is where the gray ones start showing up.
Ooh. Oh, he gave you the bump. Hmm, interesting. We got him, uh... God fucking damn it! Just seems to go just a little. Oh, great, great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Let's just have a little parking lot party over here. Why don't we? Yeah. This gray car. <laughs> There's no reason these cars should be on this track. There's no reason cars as much slower as the leading cars than this. Like, where are the blue flags? There's supposed to be blue flags that uh, are there to tell them to get out of the way. And then if they continue being that far off the pace, they're black flags. That's it. They are uh, there to qualify for being too slow. It's a thing. Because you're basically just creating a hazard for all the other cars. Now what Maybe. happens if only one of the cars is way faster than all the other cars on the track? Well, then he wins. <laughs> then, then he wins. <laughs>